Welcome to lecture 58, Arrays of Objects. So we already had a full section on arrays when we went over how we create arrays and how we manipulate them, how we use loops with them. We've gone over all of that. However, the only thing we didn't go over is how we use objects with arrays because they are slightly different. An object has different type of memory, so when we use objects with arrays, it's slightly different. So this quick lecture will just be on how we use objects in arrays. Let's first make a normal array the manual way. So let's make an integer array. We'll say int my array equals new int array. And I'll say there's two elements. We'll say the first element 0 equals 5 and my array sub 1 equals let's say 10. So in this way when we do it, when we create the array, it basically in memory creates two empty slots. It's like a, a rectangle that has two sl uh, slots in it. It says, okay, the, each slot is empty right now. They have the default values of zero maybe. So they're both empty. And then I go in manually and say, okay, the first slot has the value of five and the second slot has the value of 10. That's what we do. However, with, a, with an array of objects, each memory slot is different because each memory slot needs more memory because each is a reference type. Like I said, an integer array, the array itself is a reference type. That's why we use the new keyword. But the actual elements are integers, which are structures and are not reference types. So we don't use the new keyword with them. That's why when we actually set the value of each, we don't say new. However, this is how it differs from regular I mean, with arrays of objects. So I have that class called person again from the last lecture, which is really basic, just a private name and a private age, constructor, and two properties for accessing the data. So very simple person. So I want to make an array of people. So it will have two persons in the, in the array. So to create it, we're going to say person array. It's the same exact thing as int array. I'll say people array equals new person and now sub two i'm going to say there's two people in this array so it's so far it's the same the only difference is each element needs to actually call new because we need to allocate the memory for each individual person this new is just calling new on the entire person array the same thing with integer array we have to say new However, for each person, since each person is a class, we need to say new for each person as well. And we also need to call the constructor because you can't create a person without a constructor call. That's why we need to say new on every single one. So let's assign the values of an array. So we're going to say people array sub zero equals a new person and then their constructor. I'll say Bob five. So I have to call the constructor on every individual element of the array we could do the next one people array sub one equals new person uh, test six so for every single person in this array or every element we need to call new on each individual element because they're all separate people every person has its own memory location so we have to call new whereas in this example we only call new on the array itself then no more news because we don't need news for ints. But we need a new for the array itself. And then each element is a person or a class. So we need new for each element as well. So that's really all I wanted to point out in this. So that anytime you see an array of objects, you understand why new is being called so many times. We can lastly just use a basic loop just so you can see how a loop would work with this even though it works the same exact way with every array but how we can print out the name and age of every person in the array so let's make a loop we'll say for int i equals zero as long as i is less than the people array dot length so how many people are in the array i plus plus now for each for each person we're going to actually print out we're going to say console dot right line and we'll put in the name comma age and we'll just plug in people array sub i. So that's the actual individual element dot name comma people array sub i dot age. So now we just plug in the name of age of that specific element in the array. So if I run it, this is how we iterate over an array of objects.